Exodus was one of the big reveals of the Game Awards 2023. The first project from Archetype Entertainment, Exodus is an ambitious sci-fi action RPG, and it's about time. Here to tell us more are James Olin, Executive Creative Director at Archetype, and Chad Robertson, Executive Producer. So, Exodus, very exciting. Not that often we get a, a big new AAA sci-fi RPG, much, le much less from former Bioware developers. We saw the presentation earlier, but sort of give us the gist. What is Exodus? It's a role-playing game. It's science fiction. Um, it's a brand new IP. It's a passion project. And uh, it basically is a chance for us to build the kind of game we've always wanted to build or built using things that we love from the past and also bringing it up to date mm -hmm. in the future. And um, its main focus, as you probably saw from the announcement, is um, the fact that we combine time dilation with choice. And time dilation, for those who don't know it, is an actual, it's from uh, Einstein's mm -hmm. theory of, a special theory of relativity, and it's um, the fact that you can't go faster than the speed of light communication or anything. And it's a real thing, because our cell phones wouldn't even work if mm. um, we didn't have uh, the satellites orbiting, doing tiny little adjustments to mm -hmm. time dilation. But if you get to 99.999% the speed of light, suddenly you can have a day for you, like doing the journey, be 10 years, a decade for the people back at home. And that allows us to do all kinds of storytelling, obviously, because you can have the traveler, who you are, you know, journeying to other star systems, and then coming back and seeing the impact of his or her decisions mm. um, over a decade or a century mm -hmm. or more. And you can do all kinds of, uh, well, I'd probably talk too much. So maybe <laughs> I should let you ask another question. But it is very interesting. So the premise is that uh, humankind has had to leave Earth, right? And they're going yeah. to a different part of the galaxy where it's very hostile. And now they're, they're sort of like low on the food chain now. Is that right? Is that accurate? Yep. Um, the, they're low on the, uh, the food chain because the Celestials, they have, um, they're not aliens in the way that you think of aliens. We'll talk about that at a, sure. at a different time, but yeah. essentially they're, they, um, well, they, they have a connection to Earth in a way that is actually not a secret, so it'll come out at the beginning of the game. These, uh, the Celestials have a, a huge technological mm. um, advantage over all humans. And so when humans arrive in what we call the Centauri Cluster, they are at a huge disadvantage, and the only people who can help them overcome this are a certain elite group called the Travelers, who are essentially people that go out and find ancient remnants, which are technologies. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the, the trailer we just watched, you know, that starship they found, you know, mm -hmm. they found a starship, right. and that starship had a drive that allowed them to use the gate, which allowed them to explore and find more technologies and bring them back. And um, that's kind of the, the key of a traveler. They find this, these technologies, bring them back to their home world, and they figure out how to use them to improve civilization. And they have to choose how it's going to be used. And uh, then they go on another journey and they come back and see what's happened. Now, this being a game that is heavily uh, indexed into story, you know, this is, this is um, all about the story choices you're making. And right. it, like, there, there'll be lots of debates with your, your companions about like how, what you're going to do with, with one of these pieces of ancient technology. And I probably, I should let you ask another question. <laughs> so the, the traveler that we play as, <clears throat> is it a bespoke character, like the characters that we saw in the trailer, or are we going to be creating our own characters? You'll be creating your own, okay. definitely. Yeah. Like we, we really value player agency and view that as customization and all the things that come with that is super critical to making the player feel engaged with an RPG part of the game. We're excited about that. Do you have an example of how the time dilation will affect the relationships that you have with other characters. Oh, you don't, go don't, off don't spoil anything. I'm not gonna, don't spoil anything I, here, man. I, I've got like uh, that's the thing is. Yeah. yeah. I have because um, I, I nearly accidentally gave away <laughs> like an actual thing, but I'll, I'll give you just so and something that doesn't happen in the story. But uh, like, for example, you might be going on a mission and you might have two teenage daughters, and um, mm. you want to make sure that uh, one of your daughters stays behind because you're a successful traveler. You have a dynasty going that's very important to the success of your world of humans. So one has to stay there and one comes with you and you go off on a five-year journey, but something goes wrong and um, you have to go through another gate and it's actually a 40-year journey. Oof. And so when you get back, you know, your other daughter is now a grandmother and um, oh my gosh. there's all the drama that comes, you know, there's the, the, the sisters have to come to terms with what's happened and, you know, it's, there's a lot of stuff that can happen there. Sure. And that's just the most yeah, basic sure. common example. There's... We, we can do some <laughs> crazy stuff when it comes to uh, storytelling, which we do. Um, and it's, it's just really great at creating drama that people haven't seen before. Yeah, the, mm. one of the ways we um, really kind of talk to the team about it is uh, some of our favorite games, those ones where you literally you're playing and you got the control in your hands and you've got this 
anxiety ridden decision in front of you where you've like literally put the controller down and are just like, what do I do here? Do I go left? Do I go right? Mm -hmm. Because you know the ramifications of that decision are going to be meaningful to the rest of your play experience. Mm -hmm. And with time dilation, it's just this huge exclamation point for us where we can drive that home where the player's going to realize the ramifications of this decision aren't going to be just tomorrow or the next day. It could be 10 years, it could be 20 years, it could be 40 years, even, and even beyond. And that kind of impact we think is is pretty unique and pretty powerful. So we're super excited to see how our, our players respond to that. Super excited. And in terms of moment to moment gameplay, we go off on a mission, you're exploring planets. Looks like there's some third person over the shoulder shooting in there. What, what What's the sort of like just the gameplay loop basically? Each time you go on a mission, you're searching for the technology, we call them remnants. And so, those remnants can be in dangerous locations, as you saw there. That's uh, what you saw, the, the robots there are called ghosts, and they're just um, ancient, you know, constructs that, from civilizations that are long dead, and um, you might have to fight them, but that's just one example of something that you might have to, you might come across that isn't very friendly when mm -hmm. you're trying to find the remnants. But there's, it's a combination of exploration, combat, um, you know, you're trying to find things that are going to progress your character and make your character more powerful and have more options in combat. So it's it's the kind of game that we love to make. Uh, this is the first project from Archetype. You're part of Wizards of the Coast. Yes. Uh, is it was, was it a hard decision to go science fiction and not D and D, or is that just something you wanted to do from the start? <laughs> no, no, it, it was not a hard decision at all. I had no desire to do a Dungeons and Dragons because I, you know, that's I've, I've done Dungeons three Dungeons and Dragons games, yeah. and so it's like, uh, and. Um, I was I was kind of I was retired from the industry and kind of burnt out mm -hmm. and uh, it was but then they gave me the opportunity to create a brand new IP give me a whole bunch of money and, like, and I was like all right fine <laughs> well, and I was like I was like Perfect. I I want to hire the people I want to hire I want to like and I want to make the kind of game um, for example it's a single player game it's an ass not because we hate multiplayer but because yeah. we understand that the game is going to be difficult enough to mm -hmm. build and in, in the future maybe if, if we're successful and we have a sequel we could have that but for now. We're focusing on that, but that's an example of something that um, Wizards of the Coast was fun. Yep, you get to decide that as well. So it's, it was a great, and they don't interfere. Um, they're great partners, and it's um, it's been a different relationship um, with a publisher than any that I've ever been in. In a good way, I assume. Yeah, in, in a good way. Back. I'm sure. Really good I'm sure Ray and Greg would be jealous of how little uh, <laughs> drama I have to deal with because <laughs> they they anyways yeah. You know. Well, you just announced Exodus. Um, a release window is not announced, but you have announced platforms. It's PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. That's, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. And then yeah. if people want to learn more, how can they learn more about this game? Uh, go to exodusgame.com. Um, but the other thing I'd mention, too, is that if people really want to be connected to what we're doing, we've got a founders program we're setting up here from tonight where you can sign up and give us your email, and we'll keep you updated on uh, what's going on with the game. But we'll also give you some amazing in-game rewards um, which includes some unique uh, unique items that the players can wear and be proud to be part of, uh, in particular with the travelers and the group that uh, you join as the player. So we're excited for players to enjoy that too. Cool. Well, Exodus looks and sounds very cool. Congrats on the announcement, and thanks so much for stopping by IGN. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.